coaches. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Here we are on our, our final, what it takes. It is so good to be with you. Um, as you know, my name is Kevin Shaw and guys, this has been such an amazing year. Uh, so for those who are new to the champions page, let me just quickly explain how this, what it takes series came about. A couple of years ago, I was sitting in my office and, and I was listening to a podcast and this podcast was talking about, it was, he would ask the exact same questions to successful people and they would answer how he would answer it. Anyways, this coach, excuse me, this, this podcast was extremely successful because people would respond, successful people would kind of give away their secrets as to how they became successful. And after listening to this podcast, which it still exists today, um, I decided I want to do something similar for our coaches. There are coaches who become elite, who become successful, who, who make the money they want to make. What I wanted to dive into their thoughts as to what, what, what does it take to become successful here at Beachbody? And that kind of became the, the theme and that kind of became the, the, the title for these series is what it takes. So for the past, I know there's 52 weeks in a year and we're at week whatever uh, towards the end, but every Tuesday during this year, we have interviewed a coach, a top coach who has hit elite last year to simply ask them the questions so what does it take to become successful? And these are uh, less than 20 minutes long. I think most of them are between 10 and 15 minutes. Some of them are 20. Um, where coaches simply, we, they respond to these questions. And um, the year's coming to an end. And which means we're going to come out with new stuff. The Champions page is going to have new trainings. It's going to have new opportunities for you to learn how to run this business. But as far as these series go, what it takes is coming to an end. And I tell you, it's an emotional moment um, because this, is, this has been so much fun. I have learned so much from doing these interviews, as well as the, the rest of the coach development team, learning what uh, the, the, the secrets, the tips. So what I have done, this being my final thoughts, I have watched a lot of these. And for those who don't know, you can go to our YouTube page, the Champions YouTube page, as TBB Champs Video Library. I, we made a horrible title out of it uh, on the YouTube page. And you can go watch. We upload these to there and you can go watch and, and just take notes after notes. But the underlying theme behind all of these calls it happened because I wanted a central theme to come out. If you watch enough of these, if you listen to enough of these, of these videos, you'll see a central theme come out every single time. And it's not magic. It's not secret anymore. But what I've done is I've gone through a lot of these and I've taken kind of my top 10 takeaways as to what it takes to become successful. I know, I feel like I should be having the entire company, all 400 plus thousand of you watching me right now, make sure I look good. Um, but I, I probably don't. And that's okay. I'm not a big, I don't draw people in like, like Shanti or Joel or, or Adam. And that's okay. But I want to give you my top 10 takeaways from what it takes. I, at the end of this call, I have something for those who want to stick around to the end. I have a little thank you uh, opportunity for you. And I'm also going to post these uh, on a social card later. So you don't have to frantically write them down. I'll have them there for you. But I want to go one by one as fast as I can. Well, I don't want to go super fast. I want to make sure this is a, a, something that you absorb. But these are some of the tips that I took. These are in no particular order except for the last one. Um, so some, some takeaways that I received, and I have my little piece, my sheet, cheat sheet here. So, um, uh, you pardon me for looking down here, but the, my, my first takeaway after watching a lot of these as to what it takes to become successful, enthusiasm, 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 that right there alone carries the success of your business to a new level. Who wants to watch boring television? Nobody, nobody wants to watch boring. We want to watch exciting, entertaining, enthusiasm is what we want to watch. And so coaches who become successful are enthusiastic about what they do and it's contagious. 
to the point where people come to them and say, I want whatever you're drinking, I want it. And what we're drinking is beach body. And so that's what they give them. Enthusiasm about what you do, how you present yourself, not a crazy chaotic enthusiasm, but excitement. Um, it, it can, it's the catalyst to a successful business is what this coach said. That's a, guys, any of these takeaways, if you just implement them, well, I, I, I can, can't guarantee you because we don't guarantee you, yada, yada, yada. But um, I can bet that this, any of these will take your business to a new level. Enthusiasm, and it's got to be honest enthusiasm. If you aren't enthusiastic about what you do, we got problems. We got issues. Um, that, that, so don't do fake, but find an area that you can, you can be enthusiastic about and own that area and own that enthusiasm and watch what happens when you're enthusiastic. Okay, that's my, I'm one of 10. Here we go, number two. Um, do inconvenient things today to live a convenient life tomorrow. Running a business is probably new to most of you. Um, you haven't done the brick and mortars, open up, uh, grand opening, new business. You probably haven't been an entrepreneur before. So, you, so you're, you're new to these habits. And what, what success is asking of you is inconvenient. We understand that. And that's on the coach development team, our job is to help you understand that and work through that. But inconvenience today, the coach I listened to, she talked about how, yeah, there's certain things that I'm missing. There's certain things that I'm not doing today. And it's, it's, it's inconvenient. It kind of sucks. But I'm building my business so that I can have a convenient life tomorrow. So if building a business to you is hard, join the club. It is. It is hard. It's inconvenient. It sucks. But the enthusiasm, leaning back to point number one, can, can carry you and doing the inconvenient things, waking up early, working those extra hours, staying up late, adding that, that extra oomph and doing the research and team calls, all of those things take time away from some of the core principles of, of what you believe in. But the inconvenience will lead to a more convenient lifestyle tomorrow. That's a big thing to, so, so don't an, anticipate success today anticipate inconvenience today. Am I, am I a sales guy or what? Anticipate and, and welcome the inconvenience today because tomorrow's convenient lifestyle will thank you for that. That's point number two. Number three, these, these next ones to kind of go in line with that. Uh, confidence is number one in your business and confidence is a decision. Confidence goes so far. Um, if, if I were to give um, $200 to somebody that I'm not sure I'm going to get my return on investment, there is no way in heck that I'm going to give them my $200. But if the person I'm giving money to, if I feel, if I trust, and trust, guys, it's not on my list, but I need to make it, maybe I should have loved it. Trust is a big thing. Trust and confidence are kind of the same thing. If I'm confident and I trust the person on the other side of the deal that my return on investment is going to be more than what I'm putting into it, I'm going to give you my money. So um, this is, it's okay to, to not know everything. Confidence isn't 100% knowledge. But confidence is helping them understand that you, they can get where they want to go and you're going to help them get there. We may not, the, 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 the light isn't necessarily there. The, the path isn't defined. It's not clear. It's not paved. But I know where I'm going. And as I confidently help you get to where you're going, the, the path will appear. Confidence means, think if you just had enthusiasm, and confidence, and, and, you, and you, just, you just gained people's trust. Guys, it's these X factors. I know these things are hard to teach. And there are books about all of these topics, by the way. And I would highly recommend doing them as your personal development or professional development. These are things that, we, that aren't taught on, on business school stuff. But these are the things, the relationship side, that really make the X factor for successful people. Well, guys, we did all, uh, almost 52 What It Takes series. I'm not just pulling stuff out of the thin air. These are the consistent themes. So if you're looking at me going, Kevin, 
yeah, right. Nice try. I you, you go watch the videos and you'll, it'll be backed up time and time again. These are the things. And if you're saying, well, that's just not who I am, then I can't guarantee you the success. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. Uh, sorry, Carl. Um, but if you want success, these are the inconvenient things. Confidence. Be, exude that confidence. Let people know, hey, I'm going to help you get where you want to go. I have the, we're going to do this together. I, I, I may not know. It's okay to say I may not know everything, but I, I'm invested in you. That's confidence that people are looking for. That, I don't know what number I'm on. Uh, let's see, I did enthusiasm, inconvenient, confidence. Oh, that was three. Good. Okay, four. And this is a lot of struggles for people, and there's ways around it. Organization. Organization. I, I have found that people who fly by the seat of their pants on a regular basis aren't as successful as those that are organized. And I'm not talking perfect, organized, um, everything in a ni nice little convenient box, um, but having a way to organize your business. There, you, if you own a brick and mortar store and you have bills galore everywhere and, and clients and, and emails and fly, like you're not gonna be successful. Um, you're gonna have maybe have success, but then it's gonna, it's gonna dwindle. Let 2019 be the year that you're organized. Let 2019 be the year that you put things in place, systems in place that help you become more organized. Now, if you just know you're not an organized person and there's no way on this good green earth that God created that you can become organized, give it to somebody else. Hire an assistant. Um, uh, have somebody else on the team or help do the organizational part. But let your business be more organized, whether it be you or somebody else. Put that as one of your top things. 2019, I will be organized. Uh, here in the office, and maybe I shouldn't be uh, sharing too many secrets, but people. Uh, the word of the, the year that I have for, for our office is alignment. We need to be better aligned in so many areas. And I think your business can be as well, better aligned or organized, kind of the same thing. Okay, uh, that's organization, that's number four. Okay, number five kind of goes in the same line. Discipline and persistence will separate you from the rest of the pack. I was talking with a coach just recently and the topic was how can I stand out from everybody else? How can I not be white noise? White noise being that I'm just an everyday coach, nothing makes me more um, special than anybody else. Why would somebody choose me? And um, persistence and discipline will be those things that separate you from, a, from an okay coach to a successful coach. The people we interviewed hit elite. And I'm saying elite doesn't, isn't defined as success, but we kind of use that as, okay, your business is growing. You hit elite, congratulations, we'll interview you. Um, but these people consistently said, the days I didn't want to, I did. I was disciplined in the things I knew I needed to do every single day. Because going back to that number two, I did the inconvenient things now. Be disciplined in the things you know you should do, even if you don't want to do them. That separates you from the rest of the pack. And be persistent. Um, the good question to ask is, are the things I'm doing today going to get me where I want to be in one year? Uh, I just talked to Jeff Hill about this, and another way he phrased it is, um, will your res how will your resume look a year from now than it does today? That's a great question to ask, because if your, if your resume looks exactly the same one year from today than, than, than today, you haven't done anything different. I can't guarantee you that success. You're not going to see the, the, the success you want. So change what you do today and match it to what you want to be, where you want to be in one year. That takes discipline. That takes persistence. That's inconvenient. And gosh darn it, you're going to be enthusiastic about it and be confident about it. This is good. Okay. I'm kind of winging it, but this is turning out great. Okay, uh, number six. 
Um, okay. When doing posts, a lot of time we talk to coaches about, well, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of nervous to share too much. I'm not sure what I should share for people to connect with. The whole point of you posting is for people to connect with you. People need to connect with you. They need to say, that's me right there. I'm looking at myself. And so when you do your post, the thing a lot of people um, question is how much or how much is, is, is too much to share. You need to decide that for yourself. I'm not going to tell you what's too much and what's not too much, but I'll say this. Successful coaches relate to the people they want to relate to. And sometimes they have to put out things that they don't want to share, but it attracts the people that they want to attract. A coach, I, the, the one I was listening to, she says, you know, the ones that get the most engagement are the posts where I'm probably the most uncomfortable to share with. Meaning I have butterflies and that I'm going to puke a little bit in my mouth feeling before I hit post. Those are the ones that get the most engagement because that's what people can relate to. Otherwise, you're white noise. Otherwise, you're everybody else in this industry and you're not everybody else. You're you, you're unique, you're special, and you need to show that through posting. This business is through social media, it's by building relationships. Build those relationships, don't just post. Okay, number seven. Um, the, this, this, this one came up, one of the questions we asked uh, every coach and, on what it takes was, um, uh, what, do you, what, what, what advice do you have for the coach who's thinking about giving up or, 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 or wants to quit? What advice do you have for them? And the consistent thing that came out for this one is when you clicked purchase on your very first challenge pack, you saw yourself in a better place. You saw yourself doing things better. You lived a better lifestyle. Go back to that. You, you may have gotten lost in the, uh, how do you run a business? And I, I, people are saying no, and yeah, all, this, all this negative talk. When I clicked yes, I saw myself better. That's what you need to connect to. Go back to why you started. You had a vision back then, and that's where you need to connect with. There, this business is so amazing. There's so much good in this business, in helping people achieve their goals and live healthy, fulfilling lives. That's a rewarding situation. And that's where we need to, to, to stay in. We need to help people live better lives. You can do that. You can be that person for others out there. There's newsflash, world's not getting healthier, um, uh, unfortunately, but we can help people become healthier. Okay, uh, number eight. And, and, and guys, this was, I'm pretty sure this was said on every single call. And sometimes we glaze over it because we hear it so often, but the vital behaviors are vital for a reason. Think of the word vital. When you hear the word vital in, in a medical standpoint, you pay attention to what they have to say next. And the vitals, the things that keep people alive on a hospital bed, they check the vitals. It's a big word. And sometimes we think, yeah, we got the vital behaviors. You need to do this. Hello, what keeps business alive are the vital behaviors. And if you aren't doing the vital behaviors, you're not going to see success. And tell you, every coach is like, I know everybody says this, but I promise you this is what got me to where I am today. The vital behaviors. Kim Carver last week did a revised training on the vital behaviors. If you haven't watched that, click. <laughs> I'm looking at myself right now. I don't know. Click, go watch it. He did a great job on the vital behaviors. They're vital for a reason. Do them every single day and do them consistently. Do them with purpose and have that passion of wanting to do them. Okay, that was number eight. Two more. Number nine. Oh, maybe I'm behind. Maybe that was number nine. Sorry. I know. I promise I'll have them all ready for you. I want to make sure I go through enthusiasm. Okay. Okay. Here's maybe this is my last one. Here we go. Number 10. Good thing I floundered with this. Um, and this is exactly what I want. This is the one I wanted to save for last because it's the one that showed up on every single call. It's the one I wanted the theme to bubble to the top. And it's this. 
consistency 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 that is what the the the, the x factor that means the most to these people in their success is being consistent on everything that I just said. The other nine points, who knows how many points I just said. On the rest of the nine points, if you are consistent with those things, two thumbs up and are coming your way business-wise. It's being consistent. That's it. That's it. That's what it takes to become successful in this business. Um, Okay, so I have I want to I want to finish by doing two things. I want to thank you guys for for watching this. I know I went a little long. I apologize. I'm a little long long winded sometimes. But for those that stick around this far, and I'm not going to say this, and this is not going to be in the post. This is for those that watch this to the end. I want to do a giveaway prize. I want to thank you guys for sticking around for watching what it takes because it means a lot to me. This is something that I'm passionate about, I'm enthusiastic about, and we try to be consistent with. And I feel like it's done good things. So I want to, uh, I, I don't know exactly how many, depends on how many responses I get, but I want to give out some swag. Hey, look at this. I got like one of these guys. Um, I want to give you, I want to help you guys out. So um, the way we're going to do this is a little secretive way. Um, I want you to, in the post below, uh, now know you, 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 you've done it right. You'll count your entry if you use this phrase. After watching this, and then you say whatever you want to say. But if you started out by saying, after watching this, or after watching this video, I don't care, after watching this, and then kind of just say what you want to do. What, how do you want 2019 to, to be different? But you have to use the word after watching this, and then I'll count you in as one of my entries to win some swag. Um, but I want to thank you guys for doing that. And we always end every what it takes with a question from a hat, and I'm going to answer, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, Oh dear. Okay. Here it is. All right, Kevin. What internet site do you surf the most? Facebook. I know it's kind of boring. I'm not really a internet guy. Sometimes I'll go to Yahoo, but that's not very informative or helpful or uplifting. Uh, Facebook. And because of my job was on Facebook. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me on what it takes. I will post these below. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Also, if you do have suggestions of how you want to make 2019 better here on the channel's page, I'd love to hear it. Reach out to me, message me. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today on the final What It Takes. Thanks, guys.